Hey, my name is Matt, and in this video, I want to teach you how to use artificial intelligence to write content for your H2s and your H3s very fast. I'm going to generate lots of paragraphs that are coherent, designed to rank, and on point with whatever you're talking about. Now, we're going to use two different AI templates to get the job done. They're, they're both called paragraphs from scratch, but one's an original version and one's an alternative version. And I'll explain that I'll show you the differences in this video. Now you're going to need a tool called phrase to, to run these templates. You'll need a phrase subscription and also the AI SEO add-on. If you don't have those and in the description below, there's a link, be sure to check it out. Now, once you've opened up phrase, you want to create a new document. And when you're in your document, you're going to need a couple H2 sections. Now these H2s, you could go to the SERP and pull in or you can use my blog H2 generator to come up with your own. Like maybe you have a very low competition uh, search query, like maybe there's just nothing out there in the SERP on this and you don't know what to write about. Just have the AI come up with the different subtopics to talk about, not a problem. But once you have your H2s, once you have a couple written out, you wanna click AI write and go over here and click community. And you can find all my templates with, uh, if you type in RT in brackets, these are all my templates. The ones we're looking for, are called paragraphs from scratch. And there's two in here, original alternative. And we're gonna, I'm gonna run the same input on both of those and show you the differences. So let's do this first. Click on the original and we need our H1. Now, this is the higher level concept. It's usually your H1. Some people might have how to write contemporary fiction, colon, you know, five ultimate tips or something like that. Get rid of all that stuff. There's no colon, don't put numbers in here. Don't put extraneous information in. You don't want to confuse the AI. You want to be simple for the AI. Not too simple, but kind of just kind of direct what you're talking about. What are we talking about? How to write contemporary fiction. Then you need your first H2. Could be an H3. It just needs to be a sub-concept about this main concept. So write from your imagination. Now, before we click Run Template, I want to point out that this template, you want to set a creativity level of 1. Don't go up to 2. Don't, don't go above anything else. Just stay at 1. Now click Run Template and sit back and wait for content to magically appear. All right, here we go. Writing from your imagination is a great way to express your creativity, but it takes practice to develop the skill. To begin writing from your imagination, try writing down ideas that come to mind, then take those ideas and turn them into stories, you know, et cetera, et cetera. This is great. This sounds wonderful. Now let's do the next one. Use real people as characters. See what we get. And this works great for broader things. If you wanted to talk about the steps to disassemble uh, a Ford V8 engine, you're not going to get good output. There's, there's a happy medium between too detailed and like uh, too broad. Now, if you want to get more detailed than the paragraphs from keywords template or the paragraphs from facts template is probably up your alley. But this works good on, on quite a, a number of, of different niches. Wow. Okay. This looks really good. Real people are often better characters than fictional ones. They're real, they're flawed, and they're relatable. When writing contemporary fiction, you use real people as characters. This means you're, that your character should be based on a real person rather than a fictional one. This helps your story stand out because it makes your work feel authentic. And it's great how I'm not talking about fiction in here in the, in the subheading, but I'm talking about it in the heading. So it's, it's merging. It's using both of these things. So both of these inputs really matter uh, in terms of your output. Now let's get this last subconcept. And while it's generating, you can read this. Let's see, if you're not sure whether your character is based on a real person or not, ask yourself these questions. Is this person alive? Does he or she live near me? Do I know him or her? Would I recognize him or her if I saw him or her? This looks really good. Well, last one, let's see what we get. Wow, okay, we got a lot, 357 words. Let's paste that in. Character development is the backbone of any story. Without strong characters, no matter how well written the plot may be, the reader won't care. Characters should be three-dimensional, believable, and relatable. They should have unique characteristics that set them apart from other characters. This is great. Sometimes we get these like weird characters in here. Maybe it's trying to do like a, a different type of quote. Just go in here and swap that out with some quotation marks. And it trailed off at the end, but that's okay. So there we go. Look at that. We have 756 words. And what did that take? 60 seconds or something. Now let's use, that was the original version. Let's use the alternative version on the same input and show you, show you the differences. And the main difference is that I, I redesigned this template from, from, from scratch, uh, a complete redesign. And what I designed it to, to do was to give me meteor paragraphs as outputs. So like instead of paragraphs, 
in the in the one that I just showed you that had like two sentences, now you're going to get like four sentences, five sentences per paragraph. And I'll flip back and show you the, the visually the difference. Okay. What I love about this is the AI is unlimited. So if you don't like the generation, you can click load more and uh, try to get something more on point or get more more of an output. But this is really good to use real people with characters. In today's world, we're surrounded by real people who inspire us every day. We watch movies, read books, and listen to music to learn from these characters. When you write fiction, you can tap into this inspiration and use real people as characters. <laughs> that sounds awesome. I could not write that well. Wow, okay. Character development is essential to creating believable characters. When developing characters, you must consider their personality traits, physical characteristics, and background. These three elements are the building blocks of character development. That's amazing. Now let me flip back and forth between the two to show you. So again, with the the alternative version, which is this, you're going to get more more paragraphs, and you're you're going to get in general, and you're going to get more sentences in each paragraph. The original is you're going to get less paragraphs, and they're going to be thinner, like maybe two sentences. It you know which one's better for you? It just depends on your writing style. Maybe you're you like to write those really short and sweet paragraphs, two sentences, and just move on. It's easier to read on mobile. Or maybe you want the, the meatier paragraphs. It's up to you. So let's view both of them. So this is the alternative. Here's the original. You see the difference? It's like you're, you're getting more sentences in these paragraphs. One, two, three, four. We got four paragraphs. One, two, three, four. But there's just less content in here and more in the other one. You use real people as characters. Now, we still got a lot of paragraphs in this, all right? But they're they're snappy. They're easier to uh, to digest, so to speak. It doesn't make them better. So let's look at this one. Less paragraphs in this particular generation, but they're longer. Let's look at this last paragraph or this last subsection. A lot of paragraphs, but these are just kind of meatier. Okay. So really easy way to fill out content for your, your blog or uh, just write out some really long blog posts really quickly. This is the, the template that I used to write that 3,000 uh, word blog post or was it 6,000 words? I don't know. I wrote a lot of words really quickly. You can do that with this template. It's a great way to write content fast. If you have any questions about this template or, or how to use it, just drop me comments below and I'll definitely respond to you. Otherwise, please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. And until next time, good luck and goodbye.